What's going on guys? John Alderher from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at multi-dimensional arrays in JavaScript. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at multi-dimensional arrays in JavaScript. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video we looked at arrays, in this video we want to look at multi-dimensional arrays. And a multi-dimensional array is just an array of arrays. It's, a, it's an array that has arrays in it. And they're a little bit tricky to wrap your brain around, but really not that bad at all, and super useful. So I've got the code that we worked on in the last video. I've renamed it multi underscore arrays.html. And let's just come down here and kind of do a quick recap. We've got our array. And you know you create an array using brackets, and then you put items inside of them, and they're numbered. This is the zeroth item, one, two, three, threeth item, right? So they're separated by commas. Strings have quotation marks, either single or double, and words have no quotation marks at all. And we mentioned in the last video, you can also put variables or really anything else in there you want. So let's just come in here and let's get rid of this 41, and let's slap another array inside of here. And here, let's go, I don't know, Bob, Mary, and John. So if we kind of, eh, still can't read it. <laughs> Good enough. All right. So now here we've document written this out to the screen. If we save this, what do you think this is going to look like when we run it? So let's head back over to our website. I'm in my C JavaScript directory, and let's come down here to multi arrays. And you see it says pepperoni, cheese, mushrooms, and then Bob, Mary, and John. And it looks just like one big list. You can't really tell that these guys are in their own little array. And that's probably what we would expect, right? Now, we remember we can pull out specific items. So if we want the zeroth item, that's going to print out pepperoni. If we save this, head back over here and check, sure enough, pepperoni. What happens if we print out the zero, one, two, third item? What is the third item? Well, the third item of our array is another array. So we would expect it's just going to print out the entire array, right? So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the web browser and reload. And sure enough, Bob, Mary, and John. So how do we access the individual items inside of our multidimensional array, inside of our array that's in another array? Well, super easy. We just use another set of brackets, right? So here, this is the third item, which is going to be our array. And let's say we want John. Well, this is going to be the zero, one, two, the second or the twoth item in this array. Just like any array, even this array starts at zero. Even though, you know, pepperoni is the zeroth item of our main array, inside of our array, we have another array and it the index numbers start over at zero in that array. So here, three, two, uh, we hope this is gonna print out John. Let's go ahead and save this and reload it. And sure enough, John. So very cool, those are multi-dimensional arrays. Now, you'll notice we've just slapped a big array in here. We can also, define it. Let's create a new one. Let's call it towns. And let's go uh, Las Vegas, where I live, best place in the world. Uh, Chicago, where I used to live, pretty good place. And let's go New York, right? So now if we want to put this array also inside this array, we can just use the name of the array, sort of like a variable, right? And we can just pop that in. So now get rid of this. Let's print out the fourth item or, you know, let's just print out the entire array. If we come back over here, we're going to get pepperoni, cheese, mushrooms, Bob, Mary, John, and then Las Vegas, Chicago, New York. Same thing here. If we want just that array, we can call the fourth item. So zero, one, two, three, four. That's going to be our towns. If we save this, of course, it's going to be Las Vegas, Chicago, and New York. And if we want to print out just one item, same thing, you just index it again. Let's say we want the first one, the zeroth item, that's Las Vegas. And boom, there we go. Now, let's talk about numbering here. We talked about getting the length of our array in the last video. And let's come down here and let's print this out. And let's call toppings.length. How many items do you think are in our array? This is kind of important. So if we save this, head back over here and hit reload, we're going to see five. Now, if we come up here and kind of print out the entire array and run this guy again, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, uh-oh, six, seven, 
eight. It looks like there's nine items. What's going on here? How come it says five? Well, when you print the whole thing out, yes, there are a bunch more items than five. But if you look at the actual code, here's one item, two items, three items. This is four items, even though it's a list, even though it's an array of a lot of different items, it's still just one item, an array, right? And then we have this guy is the fifth item, right? Even though, again, it has three things inside of it, it's counted as its own item for the array overall. That's sort of important to keep in mind. Now, we can, let's see, call toppings, let's say four. So this is the zero, one, two, three, fourth thing, right? So let's call the length on it. And here, let me just say length of multi array. And here, let's go length of array. Now, if we print this out, it says undefined because I misspelled length, L-E-N-G-T-H. All right, so now we come back over here, hit reload, we see three. Why is it three? Well, we're calling the fourth item, which is this guy. And we're saying, hey, what's the length of that fourth item? Well, that has zero, that has one, two, three things in it, and it's returning three. So sort of keep that in mind, very interesting. Here, let's say uh, get length of original array. And here, let's say get length of towns array in original array. So all of the same things apply that we talked about in the last video. So for instance, if we wanted to add something to our towns array, we could do that. Let's go towns.push and let's say, uh, let's add Denver. And then let's grab this guy again. We could print it out. We can also print out our fourth item if we want. Come back over here, hit reload. We can see in the entire array, Denver has been added, but specifically it's been added to our fourth item, that town's array. So we have Las Vegas, Chicago, New York, and Denver. Uh, again, just by doing the same sort of things. And we did this by adding it to this variable. Now that's a kind of a cop out. What we really wanna do is add it to toppings. So let's go toppings. And again, just slap in our fourth item. So we're saying, hey, push this into the fourth item, which of course is this guy right here. If we save this, head back over here, we're gonna get the same exact thing. Uh, it's just probably a better way to do it. And uh, yeah, piece of cake. So again, all of the things we talked about in the last video, like pushing and deleting, to do it inside of a multi-dimensional array, just call the item number inside that array that you wanna do the thing to. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So multidimensional arrays, very useful. You'll see these all the time, especially, you know, as you get into more complicated, more, I'd say intermediate to advanced programming, you're always going to use multidimensional arrays. And, you know, if you're very new to programming, this might take a minute to wrap your brain around. It's like an array inside of an array, multidimensionals. Don't think of them as dimensions. You know, that gets to be a little weird. 3D, 2D, 4D. I don't know, it's all complicated. Just think of them as arrays inside of arrays. And uh, to access them, just add another set of brackets. Now you can have an array inside of an array, inside of an array, inside of an array. You can keep going down multi dimensions further and further down. We're not gonna get into that in this video. I think you probably figure it out on your own at this point. Again, if you had a, an array inside of an array, it would be like this. If you wanted to access, access something in that, you slap another set of brackets on and you just keep going down into the dimensions as you like. And that's all there is to it. So those are multi-dimensional arrays, super useful, very fun. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out Konami.com. You can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. That's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Konami.com and I'll see you in the next video.